Kaylee Anthony's mother, Casey, the 22 year old woman who's been sitting in jail for the last week or so because she simply will not tell authorities what in the world has happened to her daughter. Yes. Casey uh, has been missing, I'm sorry, Kaylee has been missing yes. since at least June 16th, possibly uh, since June 9th. Uh, you've been de listening to Detective Yuri Malik of the Orange County Sheriff's Department. He, is, uh, he has been investigating this case. Let's talk about some of the mysteries here with uh, Joanna Greenwald, a former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney, Joe Bodiford. Also with us are Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, from what you've heard so far, and we haven't heard it all, would you let this woman out on bail? I would let her out on bail. I would also sign a uh, warrant authorizing surveillance on her and surveillance on her house in the hopes that she would be unwittingly more cooperative uh, free than she is uh, uncooperative in jail and the police would be in a position to find out exactly what she knows about where the child is. Joanna, what do you make of this argument that her mother has apparently made saying, let my daughter out of jail because then she can help with the investigation? Let my people go. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't go with that at all. That she's going to help with this investigation. This woman's had five weeks to cover her tracks of what she's done to her child. No way would I let her out. And she's going to be helpful being out a little bit longer. I don't think so. Put her away, keep her there, and then maybe she'll have a little more pressure. Joe, the authorities say that at virtually every turn, Casey has lied to them about what happened to Kaylee, where she went, who she was with, and so forth. Is that the kind of a person that you, you want to let out of jail on bond? Well, she has the constitutional right to a bond, and under Florida law, uh, she absolutely has the right to a bond unless under certain circumstances they think she's going to flee, they think she's going to be a threat to somebody in the community. Uh, what the defense attorney has been trying to establish, which you can hear, is that she's not going to flee, that she's been cooperative, uh, that she's answered all the questions. Uh, I think that uh, we're dealing with a grieving mother here, and the fact that the cops think she's lying is probably because they're not getting the answers that they think they want. Uh, but what's really striking about this is that the defense attorney is doing a wonderful job getting a, uh, a pre-indictment or a, a pre-charging deposition position of this uh, officer to be able to find out about the case and that's going to help him substantially. Th that is the reason <laughs> that lawyers do like these hearings is because they learn a lot about the investigation that goes on. In some cases they learn more than they'd ever know until it actually comes time to trial. Well we heard a lot of the probing of the uh, Miranda rights warning and so forth. You have a right to an attorney. Uh, what about that uh, jo Joanna? Does, did you hear anything there that makes it sound like you know they questioned her illegally? Well, I think that it could be looked at as two ways. Of course, my defense counsel, they'll look at it like, sure, they should have asked her certain questions. But then again, you have someone, and we're saying cooperative. She's not cooperative. Nothing she said is true. There's no story to protect. What, nothing's right here. Please. Well, and, and then I guess th we didn't have this during our particular hour, but her mother and the grandmother of li the little girl, Cynthia Anthony, she was on the phone a little bit earlier. Now, she got into a, something of a, a verbal tiff on air with uh, Fox News Channel's Megyn Kelly yesterday, and, and when she got <laughs> on the stand today, she seemed just very confused, didn't, didn't know a lot of information, didn't know what her husband did for a living, that kind of thing. Look, it's obvious something's going on here. It's obvious that the girl is not with them. The girl is probably dead, and these people probably know little snippets of the story which, if put together, would, uh, would solve the puzzle uh, for the police. So the question is, what's the best way to get the puzzle solved? To keep this woman locked up where she's determined to lie and not to tell them the truth, or to let her go, follow her, and listen, her, listen to her in the hopes that she'll slip up and tell them something. Hopes. Is that what you would do? <laughs> or you is can... that what you would do, George? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Joe. No, I, well, if I were the judge, I'd follow the law and, and give her uh, the, the bail she's entitled to. But, you know, I, I think the most important thing here is to let this mother out and look for her missing child. Work with the investigators that the defense attorney has undoubtedly hired to be able to go places to look at people. And maybe perhaps she's going to see this woman that, that she had a contractor yeah. or she had hired to Hang have on. her child. And then they Joe, can, they we'll, can. We'll be back with more the, coverage in just a second. Yeah. In a changing. If they're going to, if they're going to charge her. Fine, either arrest her on the murder or let her go on the murder and then deal separate with the issue that she's before the court on right now. Joanna, That's what everybody seems to be missing. I suspect, Joanna, that you feel differently about that. You're very correct. 
uh, as a mother, uh, my question is, she's not screaming, where's my child? How can I help my baby? This is a, even a human issue, separate from legal. So she's not jumping to find her child. Where's the natural mother's intuition trying to help? So she should be there. She is obstructing. She's, she's getting in the way to finding her child. Yeah. That's disgusting. Now, the, you're getting some nods of agreement, I think, here from Judge Napolitano. That